morning. Peace and blessings. Happy Monday. I'm the Moon Mama. Monday is the day governed by the moon and the moon is currently in Pisces. And Pisces is the energy of empathy, the subconscious, that which is sort of um, what we are unaware of, right? It's like we have our subconscious is really freaking amazing because there's so much that's happening that we are doing that we don't that we aren't aware that we're doing, right? So we're, our heart is beating right now. You don't know that you're a part of a mechanism that's beating, but it's doing that, right? You, you're not, you don't have to do anything to make it happen. You don't have to do anything to breathe. You don't have to do anything to, to move your cells through your blood. You don't have to do anything. That's the, the subconscious energy is running all of that. And when we can, when we want to make real changes in our lives, we have to impact our subconscious. We have to do the rituals that allow us to shift the energy in the unseen realms, what the Egyptians call the amenta, the subconscious, the, the untapped in space. And so what we have to do in order to um, access our subconscious in this Piscean energy is first of all, the most important thing is to understand the laws of the universe that everything is mental, everything is vibration, law of correspondence, everything is cause and effect, everything is polarities, everything is feminine and masculine. Like really understand the laws of creation so that you can access the subconscious energy. And it's in the subconscious that we get ourselves pregnant, not literally, but figuratively, with a new desire for ourselves. And here's the thing about our subconscious. The subconscious is where we can grant ourselves permission for anything that we absolutely desire. Oftentimes, because we're so attached in this 3D reality, we're looking for something outside of us to give us permission, to say, you can have this, or you can do this, or it's okay, or it's acceptable, or you're loved, or you're enough, or you're worthy. But the truth of the matter is that no one can offer you that but yourself. No one can offer you access to greatness, to love, to happiness, to joy, but yourself. And the way to do it is through your subconscious. And so, you know, one of the ways that we can work with the subconscious, with the moon in Pisces, is by just when I was a little girl, oh my God, I used to spend so much time just imagining what I wanted. And what I wanted more than anything, I used to have a JCPenney catalog. Do you guys remember the JCPenney catalog? That big catalog. And I would just flip through the pages and just envision my house and the furniture and the things I wanted. And I would do that before I went to bed at night until I fell asleep, right? Wake up in the morning with the big ass JCPenney's catalog. But that was the Piscean energy in me leading me into my next iteration of who I was going to become, what I was doing, what I was up to. You know, so if you want to imprint your psyche because the sun is in Leo, the moon is in um the moon is in Pisces and Leo is the energy of the heart, it's the energy of playfulness. So all you really need to do is just allow yourself see yourself happy in your mind playing and and jovial and free spirited not not connected to things that don't support you and if you are and if you can't access this then you have to question yourself it is important that we question ourselves you know why am i not able to play be playful why am i holding on to fear what is this fear about why am i afraid of this you know really question yourself you know, where did this fear come from? Rather than just looking at something and saying no and rejecting it, get curious about it. That was the best thing I ever did for myself when I voted for President Trump, who, who, or former President Trump, is that I was so enraged with the white experience. My higher self was like, conquer it. Don't be afraid of it. Like vote for him and see what you are running from. And when I did so, I actually began to eliminate my belief that white people could have any power over me. I got to see that I was giving him my power, that politicians don't have any power, that there was nothing this man could do that would actually make any real difference in my life other than just, you know, irritating me or frustrating me. And once I saw that that was it, 
I actually, it just went away, it just dissolved. So, you know, for me also, when I, there was a time when I would be, I had a lot of um, tension and energy around romantic partners and feeling like I would be abandoned by them. So I would, in my mind, I would envision them making love to another woman. And I would do that until it no longer bothered me. It's literally, you know, killing the boogeyman in my mind, right? Whatever it is I think can get me, I literally go into it in my own imagination and my own subconscious so that I can slay that dragon so that I have the power over it and it no longer has power over me any longer. This is how we win our subconscious battles. This is how we this is how we gather our power back from things that we are holding like, you know, that doesn't work for me or he did this to me or she did that to me by literally questioning ourselves and allowing ourselves in our mind to see us winning, to see us having the power that we need, especially for those of us who are women and feminine power because we are the creators of the reality. We are the cre we we are the ones that manifest the reality. So whatever it is we're manifesting, the things that we don't like, it's because it's in our subconscious and we've not we've not um we've not harnessed our power around it, over it or through it. We're still making ourselves subject. We're not giving ourselves permission to to beat the thing, right? It's like literally, um, you know, there's that biblical scripture of the first one, Daniel in the lion's den, like literally like just, just being able in your mind, witness the lion, your worry, your sadness, your anger, your fear, witness it coming undone in the face of your existence. Whatever it is, nothing can beat you except that you allow it to happen in your mind. You literally, because your nervous system, the fears that we have, the things that we're at odds with are implanted in our nervous system from our early childhood patterning, right? So if you can reprogram your nervous system by allowing your brain to pick up a new image, like you want to create new connections in your brain with new images that will then repattern your nervous system and you will feel that you will feel your body heat up you will feel your heart race and it's literally your body and your nervous system and your brain taking on a new frequency giving yourself a new possibility and when you actually face it in the 3d reality it won't have the same power over you and this is how we can use our subconscious to conquer our physical things. So say for instance, you're afraid of heights. Like heights is something for me. In my mind, I can just see myself on the edge of a building, holding a rail and, and not being afraid. I'm completely calm, I'm safe. And I breathe that in and I allow myself to feel into what that feels like. And then maybe I even open my arms up and breathe into that. And I can feel my body is like, ah, like it's kind of shaking like that, but I'm holding it. And then I just breathe and allow myself to get comfortable in it. And then that doesn't have power over me anymore. So if you're afraid of elevators, whatever it is, do it in your subconscious because it is in the energy of the moon and Pisces that we can conquer our greatest fears. And here's what I'll tell you, you know, really all we are is afraid of ourselves because in our minds, we can win at anything if we allow ourselves to do so. So with that, I look forward to seeing all of you tonight who want to join the free marketing meeting for our 13 moons that's coming up, the new moon in, Aquari new moon in Leo, full moon in Aquarius, um, working with the energy of really being yourself. It's like showing up, shining, being of service, and literally living the best life that you can. So with that, I look forward to seeing you all. Peace and blessings. I'm the Mo Mama. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.